Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about a test which I feel is the number one screening test for cardiovascular risk. So let's get right into it. Number one screening test for cardiovascular risk. It's called a calcium coronary artery scan. It's equivalent to about seven to eight chest x-rays and it costs only $150 to $200 without a doctor's referral. So basically you can go and schedule yourself at a clinic or a diagnostic facility and get the scan. The positive is this, a positive stress test and patterns of ischemia with an echocardiogram requires at least 50% blockage. So when you do these other tests where they do echocardiograms, your blood vessels have to show at least 50% blockage in order to show up. So this is more for those people who are more advanced to see if you have blockage. The calcium coronary artery scan gives you very early indication of plaquing within the arteries of the heart, right? So it looks at early intervention. So if you have different scores on this calcium score, then you can do mod modifiable factors to improve those scores. So let's get right into some of the rating. So when they do the, the scan, they give you a different number. So for that scan, <clears throat> if zero is the, is the number that you get, you will have absent or no risk of cardiovascular injury. If you have 1 to 10, you have mineral atherosclerosis and you have very low risk of heart attack and stroke. 11 to 100, you have mild coronary stenosis and you have a mild risk. 101 to 400, you have moderate reasonable amount of plaques and you have a moderate risk of cardiovascular events. Over 400, you're in trouble. It's very high. It's a very significant risk of heart attack and stroke. So this simple scan can give you early indications if you're having plaquing. So let's say you did a scan and you came out and it's zero. Great. I wouldn't do another scan for at least three to four years uh, to check up to see if it's maintaining at zero or has the numbers gone up. If you have numbers, let's say right in here, you want to do a lot of modifiable factors, improve your diet, nutrition, sleep, stress, and all the other things, and then repeat the test maybe about a year out to see if it reduced or it stabilized. If you're above 400, right, you're not going to go back to zero because you have significant or moderate amounts of plaquing within the artery. It'll show up on your echocardia, echocardiograms. So it's not something where you go, I'm going to keep repeating this. You have to do a lot of lifestyle and management and so forth. So this calcium coronary uh, artery score or scan is very, very uh, good in indicating cardiovascular risk. And it's you know, relatively cheap and a simple thing to, thing to do and repeat. Now, it does give you some radiation. So you, know, you want to be careful because it is equivalent to about seven to eight chest x-rays. The other modifiable factor here is blood pressure. So it's something you can do at home. So what I would do is you get a little blood pressure cuff um, a machine. Uh, there's a company called Omron, which is very, you know, pretty good, it's accurate. So then check your blood pressure daily or twice a day and to see if your blood pressure is within normal reference range. Ideal numbers should be below 120 right, for systolic and below 80 for diastolic. That would give you an indication of where your cardiovascular risk would be. If your blood pressure is rising, uh, you want to be careful and you want to do modifiable factors, lifestyle factors and so forth to improve blood pressure because blood pressure is one of those things that can easily check at home and you can easily do a, a coronary calcium scan to see your cardiovascular risk. And the importance of this is that cardiovascular injury is silent. High blood pressure is often silent. You don't realize you have it. 
And if you have plaquing in the arteries, you don't really notice it until you get at least 50% blockage of those arteries, where you have maybe peripheral artery disease, right? Or discoloration in your skin in the lower extremities, or you have coldness in your toes and, and fingertips. So it's, it's a early indicator in, in how you would screen somebody for cardiovascular risk, okay? In my next video, we're gonna talk about my strategies and other nutrients that you could utilize uh, to help with cardiovascular um, damage. The other thing would be in terms of improving your lifestyle and stress management. However, even those recommendations is not a blanket statement for everybody. Why? Because people have peripheral artery disease or cardiovascular disease due to different mechanisms. So even though we can give you generalized recommendation, if you want specific recommendations for your specific condition and why you may have cardiovascular risk, you really need to speak to someone who understands what's going on and makes those modifiable changes. Because let's say you have uh, vascular damage, but you have H. pylori, and H. pylori is impacting the, uh, the plaquing in your arteries you have to address H. pylori. You can't just take magnesium, right? So there are a lot of modifiable factors that can be generalized, or you can specify specifically for your condition. What are some of the things that are stressing your arterial systems, and what can you do to help improve those functions, right? And that would be more of a personalized lifestyle approach or a functional medicine approach in order to help someone who's got a specific condition. All right, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.